Hi everyone, Dan Julian here. Welcome to Dan Aesthetics Medical and our clinic is located here in Ottawa, Canada. Today, we are talking about the neck lines. This is generally a difficult area to treat. These lines can happen at a young age and it's more commonly found on women and it tends to drive them crazy. So today we're jumping into that and I'm gonna share with you my techniques. Let's go. So to understand why these lines are so difficult to treat well, let's compare them with wrinkles. And to assist us, let's bring in our assistant, Sarah, and let's take a look at that unique pattern on her neck. What do you notice? Notice how they spread out and almost have this wide stretch mark look, right? This is actually very similar to stretch marks that you'd see on the body. Also, take a look at how they split into two or three or bifurcate or trifurcate, and you won't get that on the face. You'll usually have one line and multiple lines, but they usually only have one line. And the reason why is because these lines happen due to contraction of the muscle, right? Our forehead's going to lift, we have a contraction, we get a line across. These lines that happen on the neck happen or occur because of the pattern of the unique stretching that we do in that area. And this is why these are more commonly compared to stretch marks, not lines on the face, yet we're still trying to treat them like lines on the face. So for example, if you were to place anti-wrinkle medication, toxins, you're not really gonna get much, and that's the reason why. You maybe get 20% improvement, even if you load them all up with a ton of toxin, <laughs> and then it might even cause them to have difficulty swallowing if you place too much toxin. So that's not a great option, but it might be a good combination option. The other way are dermal fillers, but dermal fillers, if they're placed too deep, you lose all the product. And if you're using a biostimulator such as Radius or Sculptra, that's actually designed to thicken the skin, but not correct those lines itself. What else do we have? We have lasers. Those can resurface the skin, lots of downtime, but realistically, maybe 10, 20% improvement. And then finally, we have newer treatments such as monothreads. And those monothreads do a pretty good job, but you need a lot, and still, you're only looking at maybe 20, 25% improvement. So what else do we have now? Well, let's get into that. All right, so your product of choice here is going to be a very thin cross-linked HA filler. You don't wanna use a skin booster because it's not going to last, and if you use something that has a little more thickness, then you're risking those lumps. Now, the actual brand that I choose for the necklines is TUCL RHA1. I have no affiliation with them, but I'm telling you right now, if you can get your hands on this stuff, this stuff is like magic for necklines. Um, the reason why is because it's the only brand, in my opinion, that does an excellent job working its way through in between the dermal and epidermal layers. I can prop that skin up and somehow it doesn't cause any Tyndall effect. It's great. Now, if you're looking for something similar, look for either Bellaterra Soft, look at Classic Restylane, look at something that's very, very, very light, and I'd even maybe wet that down a little bit with a little saline or lidocaine, and that depends on your jurisdiction. If you're allowed doing that here in Canada, we're crazy, we can, but otherwise, like I said, this TOCL RHA1 is incredible, and this is what I use for that. Now, let's get into the technique. I'm telling you, you will receive 70 to 80% improvement of these stubborn necklines. First of all, you do not want to use a cannula. The cannula is going to go too deep and you're just going to waste all your product. What you want to use is a half inch, 30 gauge needle, and usually that TUCL RHA1 comes with it, which is really nice. And what you're going to do is go just underneath the dermis, like scraping the dermis, and you're placing your first layer just to prop it up. You'll see it prop up. And if it's not propped up, you're too deep. Then after that, you go back again and you're going in between the dermal and epidermal layers. The way you know that you're in the right uh, plane is basically you're going to see the gray of the needle and you place another bead and once that's done, you massage it all and you're actually going to see a bleb. You're going to see the skin slightly raised, but don't worry about it. Give it two weeks and it integrates perfectly into the skin, into the tissues. Nothing's raised. It looks like magic and this is the way that I treat these necklines now. Make sure to advise your clients that there's going to be about two weeks of downtime where they should expect some bruising where those lines are. So I would recommend doing this maybe during the fall or winter months where they can wear either a turtleneck or a scarf before going out. And then after that, they are good to go. And this treatment will last a good year.
Now I'm encouraging you all to try out these techniques and if you're looking for more detailed information on live clients, I highly encourage you checking out my Patreon account. It's super affordable and it's designed for dedicated providers like yourselves. So until the next time, take care of yourselves, exercise daily, and please be nice to absolutely everyone. Take care.